Welcome to our deep dive. Today, um, we're exploring something, something pretty incredible, automated object counting and segmentation. Ah, yes. You know, imagine analyzing images with, with hundreds of objects, and instead of having to click each one manually, you, you just let AI do all the heavy lifting. Right. That's exactly what uh, Count GD and Analyt are all about. Absolutely. Yeah. These... And we have some cutting edge research straight from Oxford University and a YouTube video that showcases how seamlessly these tools work together. It's it's like watching a manual task that used to take hours being completed. Easy. So Count GD is the star of the show. Absolutely. This AI model is considered multimodal. Yes. Which is fascinating because it signifies a huge advancement. It does. So can you tell us a little bit more about what that means, multimodal? Well, Count GD can count objects based on both what they look like and the, what they're called. Oh, wow. So that opens up exciting possibilities because it can understand, you know, both visual and text-based input. That's incredible. It's like Count GD can process both a sketch of an object and the, a verbal description. Right at the same time. Exactly. And for our listeners who are interested in the, the technical details, the code for Count GB is open source and available on GitHub. And for those who prefer a more user-friendly approach, there's Analid, a software package that lets you annotate images and videos. Right. And and Analid truly becomes supercharged when combined with Count GD. And you can see this, this synergy in action in the YouTube video we've included in the show notes. It's amazing how these two tools work together so, so seamlessly. Yeah. Speaking of which, Count GD utilizes something called uh, visual exemplars, yeah. which sounds pretty complex. Can you break that down for us? Sure. So visual exemplars, they really simplify object counting. Imagine you're looking at a picture with a massive herd of bison. You simply draw a box around one bison. You do this in Analid. And Count GD then analyzes the visual features within that box and uses that information to identify and count all the other bison in the image. And it outlines each bison with a polygon for precise segmentation. So it's like teaching Count GD what to look for just by providing just one example. Yeah. Wow. Now, what's, what's interesting is that you don't even need to draw a box. You could simply type bison into Analid, and Count GD will use its text-based understanding to identify and count them all. That's the beauty of the, the multimodal approach. It provides you know users with flexibility and caters to different preferences for, for input. And as you saw in the YouTube video, this method even works in more complex scenarios, like distinguishing birds on branches from those flying in the sky. It doesn't just count. It, it goes a step further and segments each object by outlining it with a precise polygon. And this provides detailed information about each object's location and boundaries. It's like having a detailed map of where each object is located within the image. Right. Sounds like this detailed segmentation is is valuable for more than just counting objects. Absolutely. Researchers studying animal behavior, they benefit tremendously from this feature. Yeah. And the developers of Count GD, they highlighted some fascinating real-world examples in their research paper, uh, which is called Count GD Multimodal Open World Counting. And we've we've linked that in the show notes. Okay, great. So, so I can see how this technology could have profound implications in various fields. Absolutely. What like what comes to mind? Well, think about agriculture, where you could automatically count crops, monitor their growth you know, and identify potential problems early on. Yeah, that's a great example. Or in ecology, where you could track animal populations with greater ease and accuracy. Right. The uh, even... self-similarity challenge in object counting. Right, self-similarity. Can you, can you remind us what that is again? Yeah, it's when objects have repeating patterns or structures, uh, which can be tricky for some AI models. Mm. You know, a good example is a butterfly's wings. Those those repeating patterns can can lead to double counting. Right, right. But Count GD tackles this challenge by integrating with the segment anything model or SAM. SAM. Okay. So so SAM helps Count GD avoid counting the same thing twice. Exactly. A giant pizza into slices so you can count all the toppings more easily. Exactly. And the cropping is adaptive, meaning it adjusts to the the size of the objects in the image. So if the objects are small, the crops will be smaller, you know, to ensure each object is captured within at least one crop. And then once the objects are counted in each section, Count GD combines the results to provide an accurate count for the, the entire image. So it's not just blindly you know, chopping the image into squares, it's a much more, much more intelligent approach. Yeah. I'm, I'm curious, does the research paper mention any, any limitations with, with adaptive cropping? Well, the paper highlights that adaptive cropping significantly improves Count GD's performance, particularly for images with high object counts. Okay. So far, we've, we've talked a lot about Count GD's visual capabilities, but I understand it can also incorporate text crops, mm -hmm. which is quite unique for an, an object counting model. That's right. 
One of Count TD's most innovative features is its ability to, to handle interactions between visual exemplars and, and text prompts. You know, it's not just about providing both visual and text cues. It's about using them to refine the, the counting process. It's, it's like having a conversation with Count GD saying, count these objects, but ET only the ones that meet these specific criteria. Precisely. Behavior. And the I can even imagine applications in, in medical image analysis. For instance, doctors could count specific types of cells, like, like cancer cells within a, a tissue sample. Yeah, the, the possibilities are are truly vast. Okay. It's been quite a journey. Now let's let's shift gears a bit and, and talk about the the bigger picture, you know, the the potential impact of Count GD and what the future holds for for object counting technology as a whole. That sounds that sounds fascinating. Yeah. I'm I'm curious to learn more about, you know, how this technology can be applied to real world problems beyond beyond the research lab. Well the developers of Count GD envisioned applications in in diverse fields. One area that's that's particularly exciting is is agriculture. Imagine farmers using you know drones equipped with Count GD to to survey their crops. So they could so they could assess the the health and productivity of their crops from the air. Exactly, they could get you know real time insights into crop yields, identify early signs of, of disease or pest infestations, and even optimize resource allocation. It's like having a, a digital agricultural expert constantly monitoring the the fields. Right. I, I can also see how Count GD could be could be valuable in, in ecology. You're right. It could revolutionize, you know, wildlife monitoring, which is which is crucial for conservation efforts. Researchers could could track the movements of endangered species, assess the the impact of habitat loss, or even monitor the the effectiveness of of conservation programs. It, it's it's amazing to think about how this this technology can can help us understand and, and protect our our planet's delicate ecosystems. And and the applications go beyond agriculture and ecology. On, on our you know, world, it, it's an it's an exciting time to be to be witnessing this Lots. this technology. As, as we wrap up this this deep dive, I, I want to thank you for for yes. taking us on this this incredible journey into the the world of, of Count GD. We've learned so much about its about its capabilities, its its potential applications, and the the broader implications of this this cutting edge technology. Mm -hmm. It's been my pleasure, and and remember, this is just the beginning. The, the future of, of object counting is is bright, and with tools like like Count GD, the the possibilities are truly limitless. That's that's a great note to end on. Thanks thanks for joining us on this deep dive into the the fascinating world of Count GD. We hope you've learned something new, expanded your understanding of of AI, and maybe even sparked your own ideas for how to how to use this this powerful technology. Until next time, keep keep exploring, keep learning, and and keep counting.